Hello there and a very, very warm welcome this Tuesday evening. You are, of course, watching. I think it's the best show. I really do. <laughs> it's my favourite. Anyway, the Planet Cruise TV show. Uh, my name's Sean and this is a show that's been running over eight years now. We always bring you the best deals on the night from Planet Cruise. And tonight, we actually think we've got the best show this year. That's a big statement to make. I am joined by the fabulous Glenn. Nice to see you, matey. Honestly, right. well, we both said it. We sat down a couple of hours ago together and we both said we think we've got the best deals this year. We, I and think we, mean we have. That. We were chatting. Well, I got, I got this sent through a few days ago and I, I was already chatting to the team in the office and was going, there's some really, really good deals in here. I mean, we normally have good deals anyway. Oh, we always but, have good deals, but yeah. This but this has got such a good variety. And also, we've not only got the best deals, we've also got the best matching shirts. Uh, we what, <laughs> what happened, <laughs> <laughs> we what have. happened tonight? Yeah, <laughs> look at that colour palette, ladies. Look at that. Male and um, female. Just looking. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, Cunard, we've actually got a 24 night cruise coming up for under £1,600. I mean, we've that got works that one out going over to the Caribbean, yep. yeah. And that works out under £65 per person per night, and that's Cunard, five star. Then we've got something going to the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, but six star deluxe. Yeah, Crystal. Crystal. Oh, amazing. I cruised with them Abu a few Dhabi years Grand ago. Prix. Uh, we've got a great one from Thompson, haven't we? And then we've got a little cheeky one taking us over to the Rockies. And I do think, actually, there's a cracking one from MSC as well. So, honestly, there is something for everybody and some amazing prices. Um, Glenn, just quickly before we start the show, we always get some new viewers as well. Yeah. Tell us just a little bit about yourself and Planet Cruise. Okay. Well, well, like I'm interviewing you now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it started years ago. <laughs> no, I've been, I've been on ships now for 10 years, and well, I was on ships for 10 years as a tours manager, so obviously experienced a lot of places to see. And then we had the baby, so we've moved back into Portsmouth, and that's where we're based now at Planet Cruise. And the good thing with the team is most of the people there have either worked on cruises, they've been within the tourism industry, um, and they, they just love cruising. So when people phone in, even if the deals tonight aren't the exact ones they want to go for. We'll go for something slightly different and we can obviously do that for you. That's Brilliant. not a problem at all. Uh, and, and honestly, you know, because you, you, we're always a bit short of time on the show, we'll kind of try and give you as much information as possible. You can always ring the call centre. Yeah, the guys are there till 10.30 tonight and I'll, yeah, and I'll be back in tomorrow at 9 in the morning. But the team are there, they'll answer any questions. As I said, if the deal tonight don't suit you, give the guys a call anywhere, they can find some other ones. I just quickly want to say hello to Mr and Mrs Welsh as well. They booked a cruise with me off to Singapore with their friends. So I said I'd say hello to them. And also Mr Wyborn as well. He booked a cruise on Royal Very Caribbean nice. so I thought I'd give them a little uh, little mention uh, and I'm going to say Mary Bennett I know you sent me a message on Facebook earlier you asked about gratuities we're going to cover that a bit later on in the show Remind and the other us. thing as well what did, we did want to say to people if they want to get in contact with us hello at planetcruise.co.uk send in your photos of your cruise tell oh, us where you've idea. been because we'll show them if we can so send those in um, and by the way I I should mention, I know a little bit about cruising myself because I've been on, tw I think, 24 cruises now. There's probably only about seven cruises you haven't been on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, honestly, I, I do love cruise holidays. I think they're the very, very best. But we're going to start off with a cracking deal. And it's with Thompson on board the Celebration. Seven nights under £600. And that's for an outside. You get an, actually an upgrade, upgrade, free upgrade to an outside as well. Let's give you a little taste of that, of what life is going to be like on board the Thompson Celebration. Um, we get amazing feedback with Thompson. A lot of you say that you just love the ambience, the atmosphere, the friendly nature of Thompson. Um, the ships are always like classic ships that have been, for want of a better word, but Thompsonized. So they've got all of the Thompson features. Great variety of statements, but you will get an upgrade to an outside cabin today so you will get a free upgrade say it, we feature a lot of thompson and whenever thompson on the show for price and places to see they always do very well in the office what we will say is that they're, they're comfortable ships for people to yes. go on so they're a british cruise line british cruise directors british staff on board the entertainment's just one wards again in the last couple of months for the size of ship the best entertainment at sea tips are included and people feel when they go on board they just feel at home they feel it easy it's a very relaxed ship as yeah. well you know you've got different grades of ships out there some are a little bit more formal this is very very relaxed on there and as i said people really really seem to enjoy it and just great to say that tips are always included so yeah. you never have to worry about that at and all and you can also upgrade on here yeah, they've got drinks packages i think they're about 199 pounds for the week so if you like a drink you can upgrade but look at the price 600 pounds for a seven day cruise that's including your flights and an outside cabin and what i love about this and we're going to the itinerary uh, in a few months time but when it's all beginning to get a bit chilly and a bit autumnal here, yeah. you're flying straight to the sun, aren't you? Yeah, you are. And, and again, the they're, they're quite family-based ships as well. But again, this time of year, on the 8th of October, should be mainly adults only. So yeah. if, you, if you do want to get away from the kids just for a week to relax, <laughs> maybe <laughs> put this one. Glenn can say that being a dad. You can get away with that. <laughs> oh, I'll take that with me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's uh, give you a little idea of some of the great places that you are going to be visiting. It does start off with a flight from London. I think you've got two airports to choose from Gatwick or Luton. 
and you're flying over to Malaga. Now, of course, being you? Thompson, Thompson's got their own airlines. So remember as well, if you are looking for supplements to go from Manchester or Doncaster, yeah. they're, they're, the team in the office will find out what they are and then you can decide what you want to do. But flying into Malaga and that's where you'll go to the ship. From there, you're going to transfer and you've got your first days at sea, which is lovely. So you can just chill out, relax. Yeah. We're going to talk about days at sea a little bit later on anyway. But again, you can just chill out and take it easy and just do absolutely yeah. nothing at all. Just experience the ship and go and see what it has to offer. So that was Malaga Sea, cruising out there, first day at sea. But we're making our way over to Lisbon. I've, you know, I only visited Lisbon for the first time about eight weeks ago on a cruise as yeah. it happens and I fell in love with it. It's one of the best sailings in Europe and people don't seem to you know, oh, realise it. So you know, as you sail under the, the, the bridge there, the 25th of April bridge, the, um, and then you've got the Christ of Redeemer statue. Once you get into Lisbon as well, you can just wander around, meander around the town. You've got the beautiful statues, go and try one of the cable cars, uh, sorry, the, uh, the yellow trams, and you've also got the glass elevator that goes up and down. So and a lot of tuk-tuks as well. A lot of tuk-tuks there yeah. as well, but it, but it is a really, <laughs> really nice port. Of, you know, and as a, make sure you're just on the back deck as you sail out with a glass of wine taken in the sights. I was there two days and one afternoon I did just sit and drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> Just looked out at the beautiful water. It was great. It's great. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. It's your cruise. You do what you want. I know. Exactly. I've a couple, but it's lovely. Really then sunny. We're, then we're into Porto Mayo. Again, heading up, uh, or heading down the coastline there into Portugal. And again, you've got Praia de Rocha Beach. This is the Algarve. So this is one of the most popular destinations yeah. for Brits to visit this year. And again, with this place here, I just wander around the town. You've got the beaches there as well. If the weather's good, just go out and, and just stroll around. But beautiful, beautiful part of the world. If you've not done the Algarve before, it's definitely a place to go and see. Any golf lovers over there, Pani, uh, uh, Panina Beach, uh, Panina Golf Club there is just along the coastline. You might want to go and have uh, 18 holes. We then go into Spain, into Cadiz, and again, another beautiful opportunity just to relax and take in the sights. As I said, the weather's going to be not great in the UK, so nice to wander around. Beautiful old town there, the old village. You can go down to the beach, wander around the coastline there. But as I said, it's just going to be nice to be away in October, just yeah. taking in. I think it's just nice going to extend your summer a bit, isn't it? It is, yeah. of course it is, of course it is. Then we go down in to uh, Casablanca course made famous with the film you can oh, go that again you're going off the European co uh, coastline there down into North Africa and again if you've not been there before I think sometimes people feel a little bit intimidated going there but again it's a completely different culture when you're going down into Casablanca and what I would suggest you do is going into the local souks and the markets do a bit of haggling and bartering any of the stuff you can buy there is generally very very good might not always be real but you can actually purchase a few items down there as well. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can do that if you want Should to. Should look real? But they might that. look real, but they're <laughs> about a thousandth of the price. <laughs> then from there we go to Gibraltar, go to the rock itself. And again, famous destination. I always feel it's Spain in the 70s when you go there. When it you is a bit. Some I, uh, of the old, get, yeah. the old bars and restaurants there. You can take the cable car, go to the top of the rock, go and see the monkeys. Make sure you never have anything in your pockets with the monkeys. They'll take everything from you. Do you know they're on best behaviour when I was there? There they are. Well, as I said it before, you got matching bids. Uh, yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I think they did think I was a relative. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, we got them great. Yeah. But again, if you go down into Gibraltar as well, they've got the British bobbies, you've got the red phone boxes. Yeah. Just yeah. Stroll around and again, it's still reasonably cheap in Gibraltar. So, and of course, there's a lot of uh, talk about Gibraltar oh. at the moment with Brexit and everything going on at the moment. I've got to say, the duty free was amazing. It's very cheap, yeah, it's very, very cheap. Yeah. And then from there, you're going to uh, have a sail back into Malaga, and that's where you disembark the vessel, and that's where you're going to make your way back to you. Glenn, UK. I mean, you'd normally be working tonight. Um, is that one going to be really popular? Thing? Thompson's always top yeah. popular. To be quite honest, whenever Thompson's on, it's always popular, but again, it's also driven a lot by the price. Yeah, so again, look at the price on there. You want seven days away, what's that about? Seven 70 quid a day, 80 quid a day. It's not bad value with your flights, transfers, everything included on it's there. It's amazing. It, is it really value. is. Um, and you get an outside, you get the free upgrade to an outside, you get all of that natural light coming into your stateroom. Do you know a lot of our regulars, I know quite often you'll, you'll do two or three cruises and if a great deal comes up, you just say, oh, let's, yeah, let's do it. Do you know what, work. we have loads of people phone up and a lot of people have their, their cruise of the year. You know, they put that money aside. But the amount of people that phone us up, especially when it gets out of the summer, goes, what have you got as a late deal? Yeah, what yeah. have you got something, you know, just to get away for a week. We want to go away and just chill out. And this is a perfect opportunity well, to do that. Well, not too long to wait for that one. So it's the 8th of October. Don't forget, give us a call right now because it is going to go quickly. That one, 0808 and what's included, loads actually with Thompson, they say you're going to get a free upgrade tonight from inside to outside. Return flights, they are based on London Gap, we call Luton. Uh, but as Glenn said, Thompson have got their own airlines, so you know there will be other flights available from other UK airports just for supplement. And oh yeah, you can actually extend your cruise. If you want to add on a seven night hotel stay in Costa del Sol, why not? You can do it from just £379 per not person. Not bad, is it? Well, you wait for two weeks there for... Uh, just less than a grand. Yeah. Yep. Stick the drinks package on. Happy days. Yeah, very good.
If I wasn't going to wear a cruiser uh, 10 days after that, I'd be thinking about that one myself, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, is that your special one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, we are going to move on. And I, I think, I, you know, so we, we both said at the top of this hour, we think we've got the best show so far this year. This is another cracking deal, and it's from MSC. And for anyone that's never cruised with MSC, um, this ship is actually based in Southampton, so it's a yeah. lot more British, this one, isn't okay. it? So with MSC, people have, a lot of our clients have travelled with MSC before, so you fly it to Genoa and places like that and pick up, pick up the ship. And again, MSC is an Italian cruise line. They're the, the company that own the containers, if you go into yeah, the yeah, ports. Yeah, them, yeah. So they have brilliant deals with a lot of the ports, so that's how they get such good rates on their ships. Now, they're bringing out new ships all the time. They're one of the biggest cruise companies in the world. When you're over in Italy and the ships are there, a lot of the clientele on board will be European. Yeah, so British are in the minority. So maybe done in a few different languages and the food is geared more European. MSC have taken the decision to move the Magnifica all next year into Southampton and this is great. One, because people get to try a different ship than the normal maybe P&O and, and Royal Caribbean and also their value for money. Excellent value. I was on the Magnifica about three weeks ago, thoroughly impressed with the ship. Beautiful cleanliness, really good great bars, the food was good, and they're bringing in a British cruise director, they're bringing in food to suit the Brits, and they even came into our office a few weeks ago with all different tea bags, because they're putting kettles in the room, <laughs> this is true, and they I'm wanted saying. us to check whether it was PG tips, twinings, or what ones the <laughs> British people wanted, so... I hope you got to try some Yorkshire tea and all. Well, we tried some Yorkshire. Good, yeah. right. I think, we went, so. I think we went with PG. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you know, it's going to be amazing. And look at the price on the screen. In fact, we've even got balconies starting at 869. Look, the other thing I want to draw people's attention to the family of four from 1649. Yeah. Okay, so you get families phoning up, and, and you know, they all have a budget in mind. You travel from Southampton, you can take as much luggage as you want with the kids, so you can take everything they want. For, Sixteen forty nine. Yeah. It's not a bad option. Uh, it, this is um, again. I think it's one of the best deals we've ever had from MSC. So, should we have a look? So, oh yes. Let's have a little look at this fabulous, fabulous itinerary. So, so we're starting off going. So of course this one's going to go from Southampton. So we always mention that. Well, if you want to extend one night before, if you, you're driving down from parts of the country, you can stay at the Holiday in Winchester. So we can do that for you. You can stay there for the night have bed and breakfast and then they'll transfer you to the port and that also includes your parking. I think it's about £89 per person to do that. So it's just quite a nice yeah, way of doing it, definitely. which is quite good. From there we go down into La Havre. Now La Havre has got a couple of different destinations. Many people go from La Havre over to Paris. Now it's about three hours to get to Paris from La Havre. It's a bit of a trek, but the other one I would recommend is probably going over to a place called Homfleur. Now many people that do British so, yeah, Isles cruise, closer, oh, isn't it's it? beautiful, yeah, beautiful over there, really quaint. The sail in and out there is absolutely stunning, but when you go into the actual part of Homfleur, you walk round, you've got the small cafes and restaurants. We just always go there off on the ship and just sit back, relax, have a croissant, maybe a glass of wine. They do beautiful mussels there as well, Ooh. and just taking the views. And you really do experience a little bit of France there. Then, then we got, have a day at sea. I was going to say, love day at sea. Nice. Oh, fabulous ship. Um, and then we go into La Coruna in Spain. So La Coruna in Spain is really, really beautiful. Again, you can walk along the coastline. You've got the Tower of Hercules there. You've got great places to go and see. You've got the old stones, which is a little bit of history. And then again, from there, you can actually go off to places like Santiago de Compostela, just wander around the town, off to the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Whatever you want to do, the port area is quite nice if you just want to chill out for the day. From there, we go over to Bilbao. Now, Bilbao is stunning for the Guggenheim Museum. The Guggenheim Museum is really, really nice. And a lot of people say, even if they're not into museums, this one is quite exceptional, isn't it? It is, and it's, it's one of the most famous um, museums in the world now. Modern architecture, stunning place to go and see, and very, very, uh, very, very popular to go and have a look around there. Then and then into, France, is it? Yeah, then into Le Verdun. Le Verdun is becoming quite popular with some of the ships now. And again, with this one, uh, you've got the beach opportunities. So if you just want to chill out the beach, remember you're going in the summer. So maybe the kids do want to do want to sort of see the beaches and just chill out for a day. They can do that if they want to. Um, but it's a nice opportunity to try something a little bit different. Then we have a day at sea, and then from there we go into Amsterdam. Do you know, I have never been to Amsterdam. Have you really? never been no, to Amsterdam? Seriously? All the cruises you've done, you've never <laughs> been to Amsterdam. How mad is that, I know. Mad, absolutely mad. And we're actually there overnight on board as well, aren't we? So. I can't believe I've never been there. Everyone says it's fabulous. It is great, and there's loads of stuff to do there. So first of all, you can go to the Anne Frank Museum. You can wander through the canals, pop down to the Red Light District. I mean, probably don't take the kids down there. But again, if you want to wander around, it's just something to see. Yeah. You've also got Madame Tussauds. Plenty of options down there as well. Um, and then we're over to Hamburg. Hamburg, again, you've got the, uh, the Reaper Barn. You've got plenty of places to go and see. You've got the big beer houses. You can wander around the old historical centre of Hamburg. But plenty of good things to see. So again, it's a nice opportunity 
opportunity. You can also take a trip over to Lube uh, Lubeck if you want to. And then a final day at sea and that back, of course, to Southampton. Um, I want to see the ship. I mean, you've been on board. Everyone says yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, filmed, I filmed on there a couple of weeks. It's the first time I've gone on MSC, and I was really, really impressed. Again, with this one, because you're going out of the UK, it's great because you've got the, um, the the swimming pool with a retractable roof. So, so if the weather's not great, you've <laughs> yeah. got that. But again, even in the spa, you go, I just walked around. I, yeah. I mean, I worked on ships for years. I know how clean they are, but this was immaculate, yeah. absolutely immaculate. And as I said, what's good about it is because it's basing itself out of Southampton, it's going to have the British clientele on board. It's going to be <laughs> It will have a British market. It will have a very different feel, won't yeah, it? Yeah, as I said, MSC is quite European. So yeah. when you go on the ships, it will be. But this is going to be geared again for the for the Brits. And, and I honestly think that at this price, knowing that this is actually you know departing out of Southampton, I do think it's going to go. I can so promise quickly. you this now. You, you might get a Fields cruise for seven nights going up there. You will not get an 11 night cruise for 729 no. at that no, time of year. No, I'm saying we're not talking about November. We're talking about the 14th of June as yeah, the lead date. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's another booking coming into my. I am, honestly, I am. I, I, Do you know what? I, I want to if, try MSC. If you haven't tried yeah. MSC, yeah. again, as I said, we wandered around all there. They've got a really good sports bar there. And it was really, really interesting. And as I said, it's a great place to go and see. I, I think people should give it a try. Yeah. Well, the, the balcony price is amazing as well, starting at 869. Right, let's show you what's included. That's quite weird. There's a few. There's a tiger bar and a, um, yeah. a poke. I yeah, I think that. they went a bit on the leopard skin on that. That's a bit over the top, that one. But, uh, oh, yeah. I like a bit of leopard skin. Anyway, uh, the free... <laughs> hang on, yes, yeah, sorry. It gets even better, this one. The free car parking is included with every balcony cabin. And so the balconies do start, to believe, at 869, which is ridiculous. Um, free double up upgrade to balcony on 19th and 13th of September. Dates. We'll show you those in a second. Family of four can have an inside from only 1649. Now, you break that down between four people for 11 nights. Yeah. It's it's crazy. The other thing you can do on there as well, MSC have got drinks packages on board if you want to. Um, at, the, at this time, they're £23 per person per night, which if you think really about it, good. once you've had two or three drinks, covers your costs, and that's for the 11 nights. So about 250 quid, that's your drinks bill done. Anyway. So we told you it was a good show tonight. <laughs> we did. Right. Uh, Q&A are coming up, but we're just going to go very quickly to the phone line. It's going to go straight to Planet Cruise because uh, a late deal has just come in, we believe. And is it Rob on the phone line? It is. You're right, guys. Hello again, Rob. Hello, mate. Oh, you're beeping away, Rob. <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you fine, matey. So, um, have you got a, a something just come in, Rob, or...? We have, yeah. I mean, I was due to go home at seven, but I couldn't without telling you about this, because we've got a 15th of October sailing, OK? So, two months today, and it's the Thompson celebration. We know how popular Thompson is on the show at the moment, and it's going out of Malaga. Now, we've got the seven nights for this at 5.49, but the special thing we have with this one is we have an upgrade for 549 to an outside cabin as well. So bad. free upgrade on that. I know everyone loves the free upgrade. Uh, deluxe cabins at 599, even the suites, £100 a night per person at 9. And the itinerary we've got on this is out to Malaga. We've got Mahon, Marseille, Barcelona, Valencia, Cartagena, and then back out of Malaga. Not only that, we can also do Gatwick, Luton, and Cardiff flights on this for the same price. Not bad. And, and what, was the, what was the date again, Rob? I missed the date. So we've got two months today, the 15th of October. 15th of so October. Again, another nice one to get away in there. And, yeah. and who would not trust a face like that? Look at that angelic. Is that, this is where the there magic is. happens. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> Rob, thank you so much. It sounds like there's a lot of noise in the background. It sounds busy in the background. Oh, it is. It's always busy on TV night, isn't it? I think, I think we know that by now. But uh, I'm going to shoot off and I'm going to take some of these calls that are waiting. Oh, all right? All right, then, Rob. Have thank you one, so mate. much, See matey. You Bye. Cheers, guys. Bye. <laughs> he did sound busy, didn't he? He, he did. Didn't to he did. I sit next that. to him as well, so uh, yeah, he was due to finish at seven today. <laughs> Bless him. So that's a, a late deal that's just come in. Now, um, I put on Facebook earlier that one of my, my nicest memories of, of a cruise was on Cunard from my yeah. mum's 70th. She was, yeah, you talked about this one. Uh, well, you know, the five-star service and, and Cunard, just like, everything is yeah. just... Well, I, it's I unique to, what they do, isn't it? Well, I used to work for Cunard. I, work, I know. I, I, I worked on the Queen Mary. So you've got the Queen Mary as the as the big ship, and then the Victoria and the Elizabeth are their smaller sisters on there for you, which are beautiful. Uh, and I always find with Victoria and Elizabeth, they're a little bit more, because they're smaller, they're a little bit more... Friendly is not the right word to say, because they're all friendly, but you know what like I mean? A little bit more intimate, yeah, and they're a little yeah. bit smaller than the Mary itself. Now, you, now I, I, I know when I 
Cruise with Cunard, you do pay a premium because they are five star and they, you know, they are just, just, you know, in so many ways the best at what they do. But look at this, 24 nights. No flying. No flying, going to the Caribbean for under £1,550 per person. What does it work out per night? Oh, Claire? we worked out about 65 quid a night or something. I mean... And the other thing we forgot to mention, I didn't even remember this, if, if you go to the um, Holiday in Winchester and book your room for the night before, £89 per person will give you the night stay before, bed and breakfast, transfers to the port and 24 nights parking. Right, you've definitely got to do that. So but good. she's also just had a massive refit, hasn't 34 she? $34 million. $34 million. So she's going to be grander and more beautiful than ever. Yeah, I mean, I, I, went, I was lucky enough to go on the Queen Mary after she had a, I think, £90 million refit. And it was the, the rooms, with the, the way they've done it all, they've done it so modern. Yes. And so what they've done now, they've, they've followed it on, on with Victoria and Elizabeth, I think will be done next year. Uh, so you've got a chance to go on a newly refurbed uh, vessel. The thing with Cunard is history. It's the old Windstar. Yeah. Um, when you go on board the ships, you see the, the, the famous people that have travelled there, Sinatra, Munro. If it's good enough for them, it's good enough for us. So that, that's what you get. You get the history, whereas a lot of the other cruise lines haven't got that. And again, when you go on, you've got the white glove service, you've got the, the way Cunard operates, and they are still one of the best and, lines out there. And they are, and the ships themselves, they are geared to spend days at sea, because this is obviously, you know, a voyage over to the Caribbean from Southampton with no flying whatsoever. Yeah, and we get a lot of our clients who, you know, an eight-hour flight over to a place like Barbados is not too bad, but they really don't want to fly. Yeah. So this one here, you can, once you get into your cabin, you can unpack. Maybe you can take as much luggage as you want on board, unpack, and then get on your cruise. Well, you've got um, a few days at sea, and they will be fabulous. Believe me, you'll be so well looked after. But we're making our way over to Ponta del Garda, the Azores, aren't Have we? Have you been there before, Ponta del Garda? No. No, I okay. haven't, no. So it's, it's become I've not been everywhere, you know. <laughs> oh, well, there's, there's a few places you've not been to there. With, with the Azores, it's the alternative to going into Madeira, which is what a lot of the ships do. So here, very natural, beautiful landscape. When we did, when I worked there, when on the ships, we used to do a, an island tour that takes you to that crater area there, wow. which is magnificent. Even around the port area, there's loads of bars and restaurants, the old colonial history. That's the port area there, just to wander around. So it's just a great break up for a day. It's not too intense, and then you're just getting ready to start heading over. Now, we were talking about it before. First two days at sea, you're going, what, the 18th of November, it's going to be cold and chilly. Then everyone starts to come out onto deck because yeah. it starts to get warmer. Once you're down the Azores, it'll warm up, and then you've got five, one, two, four, five days at sea taking you over to the Caribbean. And, and those days, they should be, you know, again, great weather for sunbathing on deck. Yeah, and, and you just want to chill out, pools. relax, and you know it's going to get warmer and warmer. Yeah. You know, people, they start doing activities outside, you spend more time outside. And then from there, we go into our five ports of call for the Caribbean. So, St. Martin, first of all, great French and Dutch side on the island, really good for shopping, great for beaches, catamarans. Um, you can just relax there and take it easy. But again, a lot of people do their shopping for jewellery, electrical items, uh, and you'll see a lot of the crew going out buying <laughs> all their stuff as well. Then we go into St. Kitts. Now, Kitts and Kitts is one of my favourite destinations. Uh, three things you could do here. First of all, the railway. The railway's the most popular thing they do there. do a number of different departures, and that will do a 360 around the island. That's great. That will also then go to Brimstone. Here we get views from there, which you can see there, the fortress. Other thing you could do is go and play golf. We used to go and play at Rolston Kits, and we used to go with the captain, take a couple of quid off him, which was nice. Um, the other <laughs> way of doing it is take a catamaran over to Nevis, which is another island, almost uninhabited over there. So if you want to get away from St Kitts and try something a bit different, you can do that, but really, really like St Kitts. St Lucia, one of the highlights of the, uh, the ports of call there. Again, you've got the pitons, which you can see one of them there. The trip I always recommend is one called Land and, uh, Land and Sea, where you do the land in the morning over to Sofri, the volcanic area, take you to Marigot Bay, and then you hop on a catamaran in the afternoon, sail past uh, the pitons, do a bit of swimming and snorkeling, and just take in the views of St Lucia. Phenomenal island. I mean, to so doing this in kind of November, early December, fabulous. Here you've got some of the best islands in the Caribbean. Then on to Barbados, you'll see every rich and famous person wandering around uh, Barbados in the winter. Simon Cowell's got a place, Rooney's got a place. I don't know if that's a selling point or not, but it, uh, <laughs> that's what they've got. You can go over to Besheba, which is the Atlantic side. That's a little bit more rough. You can go to the boatyard. That's where you phone most of the crew. Great beach, about 15 minutes from the, um, the uh, port area. Over to Harrison's Cave. Plenty of things to do in Barbados. Then from there into Antigua. Now Antigua has got 365 beaches, one for every day of the year. And again, the port area is good to wander around. Go over to St John's, got great British history with their naval tradition there with St John's Harbour. Also as well, I used to do, they do a trip there on one of the catamarans that again does a 360 around the island and you get to see Oprah Winfrey's place. Eric Clapton's got a rehab centre there. So not a bad place to have rehab, is it really, if you're <laughs> gonna do it? Um, but again, 
beautiful villas, beautiful sea over there. And yeah. I mean, especially St. Lucia, Barbados, Antigua, three of the best islands in the Caribbean. Um, and then um, you've, you've got, got to leave five, the Caribbean. Yeah, you have. But uh, say so five days at sea, but we go back to the Azores, don't we? Yeah, Praia de Vitoria, again, another one of the Azores islands really old colonial buildings here a little bit more uh, simple than um, Ponce del Garda but again a great opportunity you might not even do a tour look at it beautiful yeah. old town to wander around our guests used to just wander off find a couple of bars and restaurants sit back plot up and just get ready for obviously heading back to the UK and then three more days at sea then back to Southampton I honestly think that's the, the lowest price we've ever had for the a Queen 65 Victoria 65 quid a day yeah 65 pounds a day and the food will be amazing the service will be amazing it'll be better than a Premier Inn <laughs> it'll be honestly be out look at this ship i mean she's absolutely beautiful and it's a great chance to travel to caribbean with no flying no worries whatsoever taking as much luck as you like now something i wanted to ask um glenn on the on the screen that says free spend or coach or parking with cunad fair now what does that mean okay glenn? so these prices here which we'll see in a minute can we i don't know if we can bring the prices in guys if we've got them there but if you look at the prices on there um the 15.49 and then we've got an ocean view and then a balcony as well um, these will be based on what's called a save affair. So you book an inside cabin and the cabin will be allocated So that for price you. will give you an inside, yeah? Inside cabin or then we've got prices for an ocean view and balcony. But what we're saying there, if you book the Cunard fair, it's going to work mainly on this on an ocean view and above. Pay £200 extra to what we're advertising and they will give you more spending money than that £200. Great. Okay, so basically, if we can go on to the next slide, just quickly. Got, no. I don't think there is one, Glenn. Oh, we've got one with the slides on there with the prices. No, I've got it here. I can tell okay. what they are. I'll tell you, the, the outside, I've got, I've got it here on my, uh, my tablet, 1759. Okay, so 1759. So if guests pay for a Cunard fare, they'll pay about £200 extra, so that will take it just less than £2,000. But their onboard spend they'll be given per person will be nearly £300. So pay £200 extra wow. and you get £300. So, it's a silly way I mean, the call it. centre will explain all of that for you, but it's really worth doing because you actually get more money for doing yeah, it. Yeah, you pay you? a little bit more, but you get more than that back in spending money. And again, with the spending money on board, people say, what can we spend it on? You can spend it on anything that you spend on board. Drinks, excursions, the spa, the shop, even your gratuities, they'll come off that onboard spend Brilliant. as well. So the first and, lot of that money you're given will come off your bill. And, and just talking of gratuities, um, Mary Bennett just uh, yeah. asked me earlier, What's the average cost per day for gratuities? It, it, it depends on the cruise line. So I think, for example, I think the lowest we have out there is, say, £5, five pounds fifty a day. And then you go up to some of the uh, sort of the higher grade ships, they could be £12, £12 pound fifty a day. It depends on the line. And again, each ship is different. Some you can actually amend. You can go on board and you can take the tips off and then tip the crew yourself. Others are compulsory. It depends on the cruise yeah. line and the team will advise that. Um, so I hope that's helped, Mary. We hope. Now... We've got some late deals for you, two of them. Uh, the first one here is under £600. Uh, the date there is the 3rd of October, so not too long to wait. And it's a seven night Italy, France and Spain from Barcelona with Costa Cruises. It's a brand new exclusive offer. You're going to fly to Barcelona. You're going to see Valencia. Uh, Cagliari. That's, that's good for <laughs> I just found that hard to say. Yeah. Cagliari. Uh, Rome, Savona, Marseille and fly back. And that's with Costa under £600. It's got its own ID number, so if you are interested in more information, just jot down the ID number. It's 132168. So 132168. So you're interested in the late deal from Costa and uh, the Planet Cruise uh, consultants will talk you through that and one. And again, the other thing with that one as well, they do do the drinks packages on board there. Again, reasonable price. I think it's about 25 euros a day. If Brilliant. You want to add that one on. Then moving on to the next one, we've got a nine night Norway, Holland, France and Belgium from Southampton. This is going out on Royal Caribbean, Navigate of the Sea. So if you've never tried Royal before, you know, their prices sometimes, especially in the summer, can be quite high. So this is a a brilliant it's deal really good, to try yeah. and navigate and one of the good ships that goes out of Southampton 13th of October ID is 113946 uh, 46 it's from 685 per person and it's doing uh, Southampton then on to Cherbourg Paris for Le Havre Oslo Amsterdam Bruges and then Southampton and I think they're also giving you $25 on board spend and for uh, again nine nights at that price nine nights really that one. Good. So, again some people say I'd love to try a roll but maybe it's within out their price range that's yeah. not a bad one so there are a couple of the late deals to just say give us Call for those straight away. Now, um, wow, um, I, I was very lucky to cruise with Crystal Cruises. You surprised me. Um, <laughs> so it was about five years ago now, um, and it was absolutely outstanding because this is six star. So I've only, only been able to do it once, but there my are, word. There are two magic. or three cruise companies out there that 
I will never ever probably be able to afford to sail with because of their level and and, and Crystal is one of those ships and um, again when you look at the prices of their various cruises um, their prices are high because of the service they are six star deluxe everything's included the drinks the tip well, everything on there yeah we were just looking early what's included but i mean it's, it's it, you know yeah it's things like your complimentary champagne premium spirits and specialty restaurants on my ship there's a no boost for example that was included yeah. you know um you've you've got here things like i mean there's so much actually um Gratuities, they're all they included. Basically, you're going on into luxury and everything's yeah. covered. That, that's the yeah. way you really yeah. want to do. And I mean, if there's anything specific, speak to the guys and they can check everything for you. But but what they've done is we, we've, we feature a lot of these Formula One. I know some of our, a lot of our guests are booking on Barcelona, Monaco, um, Singapore. But Abu Dhabi is one that's a real mm -hmm. highlight. It's coming up in November time. It's the final race of the season. Um, and what we've done, we've packaged it with a few different companies. We've now gone with Crystal. Shorter cruise, but this is ultra deluxe. I mean, this is this is a, a, a trip and expense of a lifetime. So where should we start? Well, let's fly over to Dubai. Uh, sounds good. Yes, we're flying over, and um, we are there in, in a, 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 a presume a beautiful hotel for two yeah. nights. Yeah. So again, the hotels uh, we're putting in a hotel. I think we've got a two night stay there. Again, if you want a few days extra, we can do that. We can deviate the flights and make it a little bit longer for you. Um, and again, you'll have your two night stay there. When you arrive, you've got a day at leisure, and then from there. You're, you know, there's so much to do in Dubai. You've got Palm Island, you can take one of the desert safaris, you can go and do the Walk of the Clouds where you go up to the highest building in the world, uh, the Burj Khalif. You've got the Burj Al Arab, which is the famous sail building. But again, so much to do there. Now, we've given you a couple of days there, but again, if you haven't, that's not long enough, doesn't matter, because when you embark the ship, we will also give you an overnight on board there as well. So you can use also that six star deluxe cruise line. Whether you want to leave it or not, I think you'd be mad to, but it's up to you. But you can then go back into Dubai and carry on experience. Well, I tell you, should we take you on board? Um, because you will be embarking the Crystal Symphony. And she is, I can honestly say, one of the most beautiful ships in the world. They are stunning. Yeah. Oh, they really yeah. are. Yeah, and as I said, you know... It, it's it, a level that's hard to explain, actually. Yeah, and I think, you know... this. <laughs> It's very difficult. This will appeal to a certain type of clientele, but if you really want to, if you want to see the Formula One, you want to treat yourself, but you want something a little bit different, this is everything Sorry, for I you. And as that, I said, they are stunning. I remember that pool area so well. And there's so much space per passenger. You know, even though the small ships, I, ev nothing ever felt crowded. No, you know, it never will because no. they don't. They don't fill the ship and cram no. it. They don't need to. No. But you know, because first of all, the clientele wouldn't be wouldn't appreciate it. So the, the food, the service, the general uh, attentiveness to detail. The, the onboard restaurants, even if you eat in the main dining room, is phenomenal. Oh, but was. again, you've got the other speciality restaurants on it. Unfortunately, we can't explain how good it is until you actually go on board. Uh, and, you know, that's that's yeah. what those but, ships are for. But I'll be honest, we only, uh, you know, feature Crystal, you know, once maybe every year or so. Yeah. And we feature them when there's a really good deal, and this is it tonight. Yeah. So um, you, you'll be very sad <laughs> when you disembark. But, but again, you've got the cruise on here as well. So, I, of course, was, you're gonna, you have overnight on board in Dubai and then your sail. So, from Dubai, you're going to make your way from there onto Doha. Lovely. Now, into Qatar. So, again, uh, Qatar Airlines, you see the adverts on there. But, you know, you've got Abu Dhabi, Qatar and Dubai are the these emerging areas of skyscrapers where old meets new. And you can go and experience the old parts of uh, Doha with the, 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 the mosques, the various places to go and see. And then this place comes alive at night time, like the other two destinations do as well. Well, so it is phenomenal to go over there. And, and your final um, night is uh, in Abu Dhabi, isn't it? Yeah, so you arrive in Abu Dhabi. It's actually, I think, a five day cruise altogether. And then you arrive into Abu Dhabi and you've got an overnight aboard on there. Wow. Um, and again, I think that's on the Saturday you arrive. So that day is where you'll first be taken off to the first day of practice or the last day of practice on the Grand Prix itself. So that's where that package is going to start Lovely. with the Grand Prix. And then from there in the morning, you'll disembark the vessel. You'll then have a three night stay there in Abu Dhabi. And in the afternoon, you will make your way then to this place, which is the Grand Prix. Wow. Okay. So now with the Grand Prix as well in Abu Dhabi, there is so much to talk about. It is the season finale. So if the championship is coming down between, I think it's Vettel and uh, Hamilton this year, this could be the race that decides it. It was constructed by Reclaim Land in 2017. The island took three years to build. It only cost 40 billion. 40 billion <laughs> to build. Okay.
small change for you. <laughs> um, it's um, also the most expensive F1 track, um, and you've got Yaz Island, which boasts the hotel complex, the water park, and also Ferrari World there as well. Now, people say, oh, we're getting off in the morning, now we're going to get to the Grand Prix. The Grand Prix itself doesn't start till about five o'clock in the evening on that one, so you'll have plenty of time to get there. Um, and again, of course, it's lit up at night time, so all the lights come on, I, and it's a spectacle. It's going to be so exciting. Oh, isn't it? it's unbelievable. The race is about nearly two hours altogether. You've also got GP2 and three races before, plus a flyby. Now, on both nights, you've got a concerts. Last year, they had Rihanna and Lionel Richie doing wow. the concerts. And then again, as I said, it is the most luxurious Formula One program in the world. And you've got the chance to go and see it. Um, now, you can actually upgrade this, this, can't you? You can. There is an upgrade on the Saturday only, and not let's, on the Sunday. And let's talk you through this one. So this is the Harbour Club. So this is an area of the track which you can upgrade on the Saturday. And this is where you really do mingle with the rich and famous on there, the celebrities. Look at the, uh, the viewing area that you have from there. Now, if you wanted to do that, prices start from £670 per person. Some people have probably fallen off their armchairs for that price. <laughs> but, you know, this is the sort of product that we're delivering on this one. So if you really want to be in the heart of the action, you, as I said, you might only go to one Grand Prix in your life. You're in Abu Dhabi, you've come off the crystal, you want to carry on that luxury, and, you have the chance to do that here. And this may coincide with a special anniversary or birthday, exactly. you know, and you just want that once in a lifetime experience. You don't have to upgrade, you know, you still no, you still got your tickets yeah. into the Grand Prix, that's still included, but this is just something we're adding on as an extra for people that really want to take it to the next level. Well, let's just uh, quickly talk through the details there. So that's the, the Harbour Club, the VIP package. And... Um, you know, you will gain a front row seat at the iconic. Now, it's obviously it's five star, isn't it? Of course, it is. Well, yeah. it's probably above five yeah. star to be quite honest. Yeah, but um, it does include so much that one. Doesn't yeah, it? you've got everything on there, and again, the team have got information on there for you. So, if you want to speak to them about it and it's something you're interested in, then obviously we can do that for you. But again, I think you've got buffy catering on there. Oh, you've, you've got champagne. an open bar all day, all premium drinks on there. Of course, the concerts in the evening. So, it is something a bit special. When I say, if you're going to treat yourself and you want to do it right, you've yeah. got the opportunity, and that's on the Saturday. On but and I know there's a lot to consider there, but again, the call centre will talk you through in a lot more detail. Won't they, they will, yeah. But as I said, this is something we don't offer, offer no. very often. It's very exciting. Crystal. But anyway, let's remind you, uh, you've got the hosted F1 experience in Abu Dhabi there. You've got the VIP suite upgrade options we just mentioned. The fa now, the hotels that you will get included are all five star. Yep. So five star in Abu Dhabi and Dubai. And you will get the seated grandson tickets for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and the after race concerts. And when they say it's oh, hosted, great. when they say it's hosted, we have got staff over there from Planet yeah. Crews that are looking after clients. That's Not just a hint job. to the person's <laughs> watching it that I'm free that weekend. Yeah, so I was going to say, go. I'll help out. <laughs> uh, anyway, please give us a call for that one because honestly, we, 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 we don't feature Crystal, um, I say, often, and that is an amazing deal with them. You'll love, you'll love it, you really will. Anyway, we better, we're a bit behind on time now, oh, Glenn, I'll blame it on you. Uh, go. We've got a river cruise next, haven't we? We've got a river cruise with a twist, and again, for those that love classical music, we've got something a little bit different with Saga River Cruise, but also including Andre Rieu, the uh, composer, the conductor, sorry, the conductor, and the uh, Johann Strauss Orchestra. You have a chance to actually go and see him in Amsterdam. We've and got tickets included. Included in the price. And Look at that price, 969. Let's take you on board with, of course, uh, Saga River Cruises. Um, I'm right, said you have to be 50 plus, do 50 plus. I think you can take a partner of 40 if you want to. Great. I think you can do, yeah. So you can do that. But again, the, the river cruises we sell are always very, very popular. But again, people know the prices of river cruises. They can be quite high. So this is a really, really good deal on this one. So again, you've got the river view starting at 969, going out on the 2nd of Jan, so just after New Year. It's a six-night package on here, taking you through Bonn and Dusseldorf. And then, of course, having that phenomenal concert yeah, at the end on the, I mean, in Amsterdam. So again, if you think about it. That makes it, doesn't it? Well, again, it's something a little bit different. Now, what they're also doing on board, there are four concerts on board the vessel during your time there. Not with Andre Rue. He's not coming on board your ship to do it but they have um, uh, uh, people on there uh, Peter Grevet uh, is is one of the guys on board and he'll be performing concerts whilst on board the uh, the vessel so you have yeah. that as well so if you love your classical music but you want to see something a little bit different this is a great opportunity to do that we should say as well I mean you'll see it in a moment but the single price and this is amazing it's 1219 last which time which is looked. very very good yeah very very good on that one but um, be quick because there won't be many available no, they, will they? no they're, they're very very limited here as they always are with the single cabins 
So if someone wants to do this, they can do that for them. But again, the itinerary on here is really, really nice. You're going to see some of the European destinations. Level of service on Saga is always good. Oh, Whether yeah. you go on their ocean ride, I was on one of the uh, ocean liners just before Christmas. And again, I was I was thoroughly impressed. I hadn't been on one before, and they were really, and the food on there is superb. They are known for their cuisine. And uh, we mentioned 50 plus of it. I'll be able to book one next year. Glad you'll be on. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll be speaking to me. And, and I can take you with me. <laughs> <laughs> we can help each other up the gangway. <laughs> but the, the, you know, I think it's great that, you know, you're not going to be surrounded by children or anything no, like that. It, no. You know, you can have a, a really, really nice clean tell on board. Yeah. And again, this has the travel service as well. So again, your travel is included over to Cologne on that one. And they also do the pickups from home as well within a certain distance, I think. And again, the guys have got information about that in the office. So they can pick you up from your home, take you to your departure areas well and then obviously over into Cologne and that's where we're going to start here on our river cruise again the time of year it's going to be quite chilly there so you need to wrap up but again you've still got that Christmas New Year vibe say, going on yeah and it yeah. will be magical at night time and again as you're sailing along into Cologne you've got the Gothic Cathedral there you've got the uh, the beautiful bridge that they have there which is the uh, the bridge they have and that's where they put all the padlocks for people that are in love oh yes as well. or people that are getting divorced and, and <laughs> release the padlocks so they go from there but that's Cologne to start with from there we stay in Germany and we head down into to uh, Bonn, which was the capital of Germany from 1949 to 91. And again, you've got the beautiful Minster, you've got museums, botanical gardens to stroll around. You've got the Beethoven House Museum. So nice opportunities to wander around here, stop in some of the bars, go into the big beer gardens and try some of the German beers as well. That's what I thoroughly recommend. From there, we carry on into Dusseldorf on here. So we're heading down into Dusseldorf, sticking with the German vibe. Again, you can just spend time in Dusseldorf itself great shops, galleries, you've got the old town to wander around. So it's nice to immerse yourself into the local culture. And then from there, we start making our way down into Holland and into Amsterdam. And in Amsterdam, that's where you're going to have the concert, yeah. okay? You've got category two tickets to the Andre Rio and Johann Strauss concert. Wow. And as I said, he does very, very few concerts, I think, in the UK. But again, with this one, Saga have managed to um, secure tickets, I, and you can see that on that particular night. I mean, what a, a fabulous end yeah. to that cruise, isn't it? It's just something that and you, you know, tick off the bucket list, maybe. You know, you've seen his, uh, his, his uh, CDs he's releasing, you see it on the TV, the advertising with beautiful amazing concerts so you have the opportunity to go and see that and we do have one final stop don't we we do have one final mark. stop yeah into uh, Arnhem on there as well so we're going down into Arnhem in the Netherlands so you've got a bit of Germany a bit of Netherlands in this one maybe it's your first river cruise to try that go and see the windmills very very flat in that part of the world but again you've got the beautiful oh we castle. missed out that one as well so the one we just seen that yeah well they tend to stop and start so they do two or three yeah. destinations in a day so you'll stop and then get off so again as you make your way along there it, it is a stunning part of the world to go and have a look around and as as I said, if you've never been to Holland before, you can't believe how flat it is. It's great. That's why they all ride the bikes. Well, let's just remind you of, of what's included. Amazing value, this one tonight. And uh, say, four exclusive on-board music concerts. That incredible concert, which I think, you know, I, I don't know what the ticket price would be, but even to get them would be difficult, wouldn't yes, it? Yes, to get them is difficult anyway. And as I said, they've secured them on there. And, you know, you, you, I've got friends of my you know, my, my family that, that love would love to go and see him. And, and to tie this in with the River Cruise as well means it's all there yeah. for you. And they take you to him from the concert. It's all included in there for you. So that's something to do. And your overnights on board in Cologne and Amsterdam as well. 969. Brilliant single price, as I mentioned. The single starts, I believe, at 1219. Which is amazing. Yeah. So any, you, we get a lot of single ladies and gents asking about but deals. But please note, again, there will be limited cabins yeah, on course. there. So again, you know, uh, if you want to book it, get it booked tonight. So yes, definitely 1219, but you've got to book that tonight, I would say. Now, what? Is it? Is it Really great show tonight. It's a good one. Yeah. yeah. We thought yeah. it would be a good one. Yeah, just and it, so the thing is as well, I hope I hope people at home see that, mm. you know, we don't always go for the expensive cruise. We give a few that are better value, some that are taking you around the world, some people that are longer destinations, yeah. so people that can relax. We just, try and cover all the bases. Yeah. Hopefully something for everybody. If there's not, Planet Cruise can get you any cruise, don't forget. 16,700 cruises on our website. There's got to be one somewhere for you. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're going to um, finish the show, though, with Holland, America. And... Um, yeah, this. The, I mean, I, I again. I, we all have a sort of wish list, don't we? And Alaska is is on my list. Yeah, I mean, Alaska Alaska's becoming very, very popular now. And and uh, I think the um, uh, didn't Jay McDonald have a show go out? Yeah, there yeah, and yeah, do that? yeah. So that sort of wet people. And I think that was on yeah. Holland America as well. So that's that sort of wet people's appetite. And, but it, it is an amazing place to go and see. And what is nice with this one, we we kind of getting the best of both because we've got a a seven night cruise at the end of this, haven't we? Yeah. 
But we've got a coach to at the beginning, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. So when we do a lot of our Alaska cruises, they're normally nine day packages. So you fly in the day before, do the seven day cruise and fly home. We also do packages, which I know a lot of people have booked before and we've featured them on the shows with things like the Rocky Mountaineer, yes, which is definitely. the train. Now, again, if you want to book Rocky Mountaineer, the guys have got the packages all the way through 2018. But you will notice with that Rocky that the prices are considerably higher. Yeah. OK, they are considerably higher because that's the product of Rocky. So people always say, bit too expensive on there but we want longer than nine days we've now got this coach tour now the only way we can describe it is if you're going to go to the Rockies in this part of the world this takes in everything it's like going to London and knowing you see in Big Ben you wouldn't do it you want to see all of the Rockies. Well I tell you what let's let's start having a look on this because it is there it's a, it's a coach tour you're going to be staying in great hotels yeah exactly every night we start off in Calgary don't in Calgary we? and again we can fly you out a day before there or a couple of days before if you want there an extra stays but again we've included it the day before on there and and people will say oh coach tour I don't want to be stuck on the coach you're not literally Good. a few hours then you go to the next destination then you get off and do things so we start in Calgary and then we start to head down so we go from Calgary to Banff and then from Banff again it, plenty of things to go and see you've got the National Park you've got Lake what's it called Mini Wanaka Mini, Mini Wanaka yeah we have problems yes, saying that we earlier. did yeah we, we I did, know what yeah. you mean yeah we know that one we like that yeah. one and the, you're right into the Rocky Mountaineers. You've got the Columbian Ice Field there. You've got Lake Louise. This is the scenery you're going to be seeing yeah. through the whole of this, this wow. Rocky tour. So it is beautiful. You're going to get some great and pictures. And the thing is, if people want more information, go, go online. Go and have a look at some of the videos yeah. of this part of the world. It is amazing. From Banff, again, if we're going from there to uh, Can Loops and uh, on to Can Moor. Can Moor first. More beautiful destination. All of these places are going to be very, very similar because of the... Of the, the amazing scenery that you're going to be taking in from there. Can Loops is a stunning part of the world and again you've got the Thompson River, you've got the mountains, the view of the cities, you really are immersing yourself in the centre of the Rockies themselves. From there up to one of the big skiing destinations, it won't be snowy that time of year, but you get a chance to go into Whistler. Whistler and Banff are famous ski destinations in the winter, but in the summer they come alive with the wildlife. You've got stunning rivers, Every, you, you can't keep saying the same thing about it, but it is stunning scenery. Yeah. Go online and have a look. That's the best thing I would say to you. And then from there into Vancouver, uh, and that's where I think you'll have a pre-night stay before then joining the actual ship itself. Now in Vancouver, we recommend that you go to the Botanical Gardens. You've got the Anthropology Museum. You've got the beautiful, even the skyline there. Go to some of the bars and restaurants. Just to live the life. And Vancouver, they reckon, is one of the best places in the world to live. And that's, of course, where you embark, isn't it? That's just the first part of it. Yeah, and from that's there, part one. From there, you're going to go on to the New Amsterdam. Now, Holland America, a lot of our British clientele don't seem to have experienced Holland America, and they are five-star. I, I don't like to put them in the same category as other ones. I would, I would class them probably with, with Cunard, that sort of level. The, the, the service on there is amazing. And again, very, very good food. Attention to detail. The staff will look after you, and we do class these as five-star. Yeah. They, they, I mean, you know, Everyone I've spoken to that has cruised them give them amazing. Yeah, and the feedback. New Amsterdam slightly smaller because of the part of the world they're yeah, of course, in. So again, yeah. they're not a, a six thousand person uh, cruise line, so a little bit more intimate. But again, then you start your Alaska cruise, and again with this one, you're going on the Inside Passage, the most popular route they have there, taking you through the Inside Passage. You can see there, uh, and again, that's where you start to experience Alaska in all its beauty. That's where you're going to see uh, the, the, again more amazing scenery. Your, your camera's going to be forward pictures. For the <laughs> yeah. whole of this destination but Makes again you've you, got lots of memory yeah for, yeah exactly but from there the inside patches to our first destination which is Juno now in here through Tracy's arm you've got the Maidenhall glacier you've got a chance to see the humpback whales oh, I just uh, love this. and again so you've got the the, the snow-capped mountains you've got the beautiful green fields that's the Maidenhall glacier Wow. It looks like a meringue. Yeah, it does, yeah. isn't it? And again, yeah. when the when the the sun's glistening, it turns blue. It's it's stunning. Look at but, it, yeah, uh, that. That's what you're going to be seeing on there. From there, we go down into uh, Skagway. You've got the White Pass Railway there. You've got hiking. You've got Pitchfork Falls, Long Bay. If, if you've done things like fjords cruise as well, it's a little bit similar to this, but I think it's more special. I think that's why it appeals to me because I love the fjords, and this is kind of the next step. Yeah, isn't this it? is taking it to the next level. Yeah. And again, if you like your hiking kayaking things like that you can also do that in this part of the world 
We then go to one of the highlights, which of course is Glacier Bay. Now this is where you are gonna see the glaciers in all their glory. The ships will get as close as they possibly can. You don't like to see it, but if the ice is falling off the glacier, the noise it makes, oh, keep your eyes out wonderful. for the wildlife, the bird life, the marine life while you're there. And as I said, you'll just spend all day out on deck. That's it, what, what better place to be? Take a coat with you. The weather should still be pretty good, but just wrap up a little bit to keep yourself uh, cool. But it, it is a phenomenal itinerary. Then in uh, Ketchikan, and this is more your traditional old style uh, destination. You've got the totem poles here. You've got the national forest. Again, keep your eyes peeled out for the bears and the wildlife oh, there yes. that they have. But again, you can actually say, you can kayak along here beautiful salmon they do the salmon fishing and to experience this and I said like I said to you about the fields the misty fields it's quite similar to Norway but okay it's got that different tweak on it as well and then from there back through the inside passage as you turn back and then head back into Vancouver now at the end of this we stop in Vancouver if you want to add a few days on again we can do that for you I know it's breathtaking I yeah. really did so let's just um show you what's included in this one and it is a, it's, a, it's a really modern coach tour uh including seven night like, different hotel stays and breakfast as well yep. you've got um a very experienced tour director and driver throughout that as well you've got all of those city tours in vancouver banff and calgary and all of your baggage handle as well so you do get to an awful lot there but it's all made very easy isn't and, it and what the guys have got in the office if you really want it broken down they've got a full itinerary they can copy and paste and email it to you and they can say on that day you do that you do that you do that and that so um, you just you know, if, you, if you're interested at all, it really is worth giving us a call, isn't it? Yeah, and so if you look at the price on there, so this is sort brilliant. Of, sort of just less than five thousand, you're going to seal that. As I said, the Rocky will be more expensive, so that value for money is superb. And uh, let's just share with you that that price uh, one more time. So we've got various dates on that one. We've got May, June, July, August, and September. Um, and really, with with all of that lovely scenery, I would definitely look at going for an outside on the balcony because there's some really good prices if, if, you, if you can if you can push to it i would always recommend the balcony yeah, because again, you don't want to be inside and then something no, you know the, the whales no. go past you want to stand on that balcony but obviously yeah. there's a price difference but if you can go to it try and plump for but the you know having said that look at the balcony starts at 2849 yeah. in may so 15, really good on that one 15 days yeah anyway anyway um <laughs> what a show let's book them all <laughs> <laughs> but anyway we started off with uh, that brilliant deal from Thomson on board the celebration 599 you are getting a free upgrade from inside to outside on that one and don't forget if you want to extend your stay you can add on a seven night hotel in Costa del Sol from only 379 pounds per person and then then we go on to the, I think it's MSC. It was MSC. MSC Magnificent. It's basing itself. We've got a couple of sailing dates this year, but they're basing themselves all next year out of Southampton. You've got free car parking with every balcony cabin on this one. Double upgrade to balcony on the 19th of July and 13th of September dates. A family of four inside for only 1649. All your meals, snacks and entertainment. Lead date on that one is the 14th of June 2018. And the ID for that one is just turning around as we speak at the moment. As it oh, turn around again then. There, there we go. go. 12921. Zero. And if you remember rightly, yes, the balcony price started at 869. 869 on that. On that Brilliant one. on that. Then we move oh well I think the best deal I've seen with Cunard since I've you know been presenting the show for about eight years. because uh, it worked out this one an incredible and 65 a day, I think you said. Yeah, under just under 65 a day, you know. And remember, if you do um, upgrade, spend a couple of extra hundred pounds, you'll actually get that back and more with onboard credit. So it's really just worth speak doing to that. the guys in the office yeah, and they'll, they'll explain give you exactly better, how it works and what you're gonna get. Um, so if you want to book that one, you weigh 24 nights, don't forget. No flying, but over to the one for the Caribbean there. And it starts at 1549. And uh, again, if the ID number spins round, I'll be able to read it to you. There you go, thank you. Uh, it's 116788. Then we go on to, I think, which is one a little bit special on this one. This is Crystal, okay? If you want to treat yourself ultimate luxury, 10-night Abu Dhabi, and of course, the Formula One Grand Prix in Dubai stays. 19th of November, five-star hotel stays in Abu Dhabi and Dubai. You've got the hosted F1 experience in Abu Dhabi. I might see you there, I'm not sure. Um, you've got the VIP suite upgrade options at the Grand Prix available from 670 pounds per person. Again, speak to the team about that. And selected grandstand tickets to Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and after race concerts 154283 we then had our river cruise with saga of course and 
not only going to get the most amazing cruise, it's all about the music, this one. It is, yeah. yeah. For any classical f uh, lovers, there, you know, they, they want to tick it off the bucket list, you've got a chance to go to the concert there. I know. Um, so tickets are included. And then you've got all of the lovely music on board as well. So four exclusive onboard music concerts. And the price there starts at 969. I think we mentioned it a few times, but don't forget the single price is 1219. So for all of our single ladies and gents, please try and book that tonight if you can, because that one will go. There's only obviously a few cabins available. And if it's on your bucket list and you really want to get over to the Rockies, then why not try doing a Rockies and Alaska cruise? That's on Holland, America. It's got various dates throughout the year. We've got the lead date there on the 15th of September 18, starting at 23.49. The ID is 152122. You've got the Modern Coach Tour for seven nights, hotel stay and breakfast. It includes the experienced tour director and driver throughout. Calgary, Banff and Vancouver City Tours and all your baggage handling on that one. Five star with Holland America, that's something a bit special. And then don't forget we did have those couple of late deals for you as well. Uh, the cost one there, 599. Uh, you're going to fly to Barcelona, you've got Valencia, Cagliari, uh, Rome, Savona, Marseille and of course well, flying well, back. Well done on Cagliari. Oh I know, I do struggle with that one. <laughs> uh, under £600 for that. And if you want to try uh, Royal Caribbean, you've never had the chance to do it. 13th of October, nine nights, Norway, Holland, France and Belgium. And again, you get $25 on board spend. And this one's going over to Cherbourg, La Havre, Oslo, Amsterdam, Bruges for 685 per person starting price. And, and don't forget, call Celta open tonight till 10.30. 10.30. And you'll be back in the office. Nine o'clock tomorrow morning. It's going to be a busy one in there tonight. Though. Yeah. We said it was going to be busy. Yeah. It's always, it's always well, sounding busy. We heard all those calls come in. I won't be with you next week, I'm afraid, because um, those of you that remember Keith Maynard, who presented you over many years, I'm at his wedding. <laughs> so apologies. I'll be at Keith's wedding, but I'll... Uh, yeah. Have a good night. Yeah, I'll bring back some stories, I promise you. <laughs> Glenn, are you on next week? No, I'm not on for the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'm, I'm, I think I'm in three times in September, though. Right, so. well, we'll see you more in September, Pleasure, mate. Always a good one. Um, but do tune into the show next week, because I know we've got some amazing offers. I'll see you soon. Take care.